humans are trying to control time itself, and that's why this research center is so interesting. I heard Group 3B's experiment today is going to be a biggie. They're releasing the flame's lock level to D in order to trace the counter time effect. <clears throat> yeah, but based on previous experiments, I'm sure it'll work out just fine. During their simulation, Fake guaranteed that they would be able to use the flame as an uplink to extract the anti-annihilation energy associated with it. Don't worry, it'll be a success. I hope so. We're talking about some complicated stuff. Okay. Strong attack. Wow. Now, the employees. Once we're done with today's experiment, we have a long-awaited three-week vacation. They're already dead, by the way, that's why they look like a ghost. I'm heading back to Xenon to spend time with my family. Now, Xenon was in Chrono Trigger. My daughter's birthday is coming up, you know? You're from Medina, right? I've been on this island for a year and a half now. Man, I've had enough. Aside from the man-made island with this research center, there isn't a single island in the sea of El Nido. Once we're able to counter time, counter time successfully at will, we'll have full control over time. We'll find out soon enough. You said it. I can't believe we've come this far. I guess that's where everything went wrong. And I guess they all died. So I guess Surge's, the main character Surge's main concern is to save Kid, right? Seems to be a trick to opening it. Hopefully I remember hopefully I remember early how to Nostro. There is a security robot or something. Yeah, let's go down. Before that robot catches us. Okay, now how do I get past this security place again? Okay, let's see. Robo sewer wash operate the robot. Triangle button to put. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it looks like. Oh, okay. Operating robot time. What if I go to myself? <laughs> Operate robot. I gotta make sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Current. White roach protects us from white status ailments, I guess. Whoa. Gotta make sure the water doesn't push me down. Cure all. That's pretty powerful. I guess, you know, this is like um, near the end of the game, so I guess we're gonna start getting some powerful. Materia, powerful elements. Okay, so we've made it. And. Well, that wasn't so hard. I like this futuristic place because you know, when you're playing Chrono Cross, you see a lot of. Oh, yeah, you can just quit. When you're playing. Chrono Cross. You get a lot of beautiful, beautiful nature and greenery and stuff, but you kind of, you kind of begin to miss the futuristic things that you can find in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> when you're playing Final Fantasy VII, you tend to miss the beautiful greenery. Oh. So it's open. There's another security bot. Let's ignore that security bot. There's like airplanes and stuff. Which way do we even go? Well, that's like the elevator, right? This place looks like Shinra Corporation or something. But there's like people who are seriously researching time to make like a time machine or stuff, right? Even in our world. Forget me 
Mina pot. How many forget me not pots are, are there in this game? Second floor. I don't know, man. Okay, you know what? Let's just research the whole set of stairs. Did I go up? It's not. There's a ghost of an employee right there. Ooh, that's close. Some kind of security system. Okay. Well, there's two ways to go. Just go here then. Security level 2 locked, please. Release the lock. What? Release the lock. How do I release the lock? Originally, El Nido was nothing but ocean. The El Nido archipelago is purely artificial, created by fate. It was a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. A plan to include islands blessed with nature in the Sea of El Nido. The main island of El Nido, Earth Dragon Isle. Water Dragon Isle, Black Dragon Isle. The development of elements using the en energy of the natural world. The distribution of memory. Terminal devices called the records of fate that could survey and guide people's lives. Research center staff who had their memories of the future erased. Left the center and began a life outside amidst nature. Really. This is how fate's paradise came into existence. For over 10,000 years, fate has been watching over and guiding the descendants of the staff who left the research center. Everything was in perfect harmony, that is until 14 years ago when a boy came into contact with the flame on the night of the storm. Hmm. For over 10,000 years, fate has been... okay. So, until Surge came into contact with the flame. Yes, the flame was here, huh? So, what's that device? Where was the lock release for the elevator again? My mind's been blanking out lately. I don't know, you tell me. You tell me. <laughs> come on. that access granted access granted and that's like easy to miss huh don't think there's any computer that we need to operate no. I guess this room was just to know the history of the whole El Nido region Open. I don't know. Error. What's that? Mysterious being inside. I have to bring someone here that knows what this is. Okay. 
Nope. That's not it. Hmm. Okay. I don't know the code, so... Okay, so I guess... Elevator time. Whoa. There's a B1. Central lab zone registration card. Tight security. <laughs> There's some greenery inside the building. There was a lab, I mean, a room that we didn't go to, right? I believe it was this one. Where I should come with Starkey. Here's a mysterious employee right near the ocean. Perhaps what we are doing is wrong. If this experiment succeeds, we will be able to control time. We will have complete control over history and, in a sense, become a presence much like God. So, what meaning is there to the history of mankind? But it's too late now, we can't afford to fail in this experience. If for some reason anything goes wrong, the anti-annihilation energy will probably overwhelm us. Who knows what the consequences may be? Lucia with me, so let's see. Guess I should let's bring Cat around. In that case, I can keep some stuff. Anyways, auto remove all. Let's just switch to. That guy, that dude, Grobic. Oh no, he only has a mid row glow. glow. Stone. Stone, stone, stone. Actually, I do not. Let's go with random stuff. Okay. It's the only guy I can think of in here. Uh, memory card slot one. That was created by fate, they say, huh? Okay, now let's see. Need to go to the second floor. Try to open that thing. Super weapon that was in development in core. But what is it doing here? Because it's the future. It looks complete. Strong arm. Okay. Just equip that thing before you forget. Strong arm for the whole party. No. 
How do we even open that thing? Oh, wait a minute. What if I just make it zero? Zero. Code confirmed. Search found recharge. What the heck is that? Ah, uh, so this is binary numbers, yeah. Okay. I would like to have Janice in the team. Let's go down. I rem remembered after all these years what to do with Grovic. Third floor now, right? Let's hope the elevator is unlocked to the fourth. Third floor. Third floor. Okay. Third floor is unlocked. possible to simulate the thoughts and feelings of each individual. These are all just electric signals that flow around the circuitry of the brain, after all. The vessels of flesh can be reproduced through cloning, and the soul, soul stored within these fleshy vessels can be simulated as well. Thus, one could even go so far as to say that death itself no longer exists. Of course, the expiration of an indiv individual being, as a variation with the species, still occurs. Overall, we can reverse the old maxim and say that where there is no death, there will be no there. Where there is no death, there will be life. the expiration of an individual being left overall we can reverse the old okay next yo talking to we control human emotions by using neurotransmitters that means by manipulating the nerve transmitters inside their brains it's possible to control the feelings and even the personalities of humans fate uses the records of fate to connect directly to the brains of the humans with whom they come into contact Fate not only imprints what actions the humans should take into their brains, but also rewrites their personalities and feelings. 
life forms on this planet developed from a single celled microorganisms to protozoans, then from fish to amphi amphibians, from reptiles to mammals, and eventually to humans. Beginning with a cerebral neocortex which only exists in higher mammals. The, anthro the anthropod brain enlarged at an accelerating pace until it became the human brain we know. Could the reason for the abnormal development of the human brain be the biological contamination caused by lavos? That would mean that humans are really a heterogeneous life form or foreign matter as far as the planet is concerned. Humans are a sudden mutation caused by the contact with Lavos, an alien life form that fell to this planet from space. That is why humans are biologically speaking unbalanced and half finished. Eternally inconsistent and disconnected, the human existence is plagued by contradictions. An incomplete species torn between love and hatred whose very being is self-contradictory. From the planet's viewpoint, humans are just destroyers and a cursed yet perhaps pathetic blight on the world. Wow. Now, I wouldn't want to go through that explanation again. Maybe it's a roof. This guy shouldn't be so hard to take down, right? Yeah, let's, just, let's go battle. is so overpowered now with the best items. Found Inferno. <laughs> All that for Hellbound. Yeah, this research center is pretty... Scary, huh? Come on, robot. Security robot. Okay. Now what? Hey, dude. The DNA records are poems and music. Adenin and thymin, guanin and cit citosin, rhythm and melody. Perhaps the DNA of the ones who make contact with the flame is recomposed by the sound they generate within. I wonder if life forms are just dreaming in an endless flow of music.
fourth floor. Should be the last floor. Bots getting in the way. Okay, now what's that? Whoa. Everyone, gather around. Let's see. In the 11th century, a scientist by the name of Luca indicated the possibility of time travel through the use of a time egg which utilizes miniature black holes. Whether this could actually be possible or not is still the subject of intense debate and no conclusions have been made. Tiny black hole. According to her theory, by rotating a single point of supergravity, space-time continua can be drawn in, thus making it possible to transform that singular point which pull in, pulls in everything else into a ring formation. Using this ring as a gate between dimensions, it should be possible to travel back and forth between various space-time. I've heard that the Time Egg already existed during the legendary ancient dynasty. We shouldn't have to rely on theories from an ancient, ancient civilization that may not have, been, have even existed. We can do this. But it's been said that the time was altered using the time egg. That's just a legend. There isn't even any evidence to prove that this ancient dynasty ever existed. The experiment should be started soon, after we discovered an unusual gravita gravitational field in this barren sea of El Nido. We built several artificial islands and established Chronopolis. This was all done to facility, facilitate our top secret research. But now, our research is about to come to its end. Once the final adjustments are made, the experiment will commence. It's just a matter of time, so everyone should keep up their good work. The chief hasn't returned yet. He hasn't? Then we'll have to hold off until he gets back. To think that time is not absolute, but elastic, relative and subjective that there can be individual differences caused by changes in time. Perhaps the same people and life forms can even exist in several different time space. An independent time that flows with a will of its own? <laughs> what nonsense. staircase. Magnify. Yo. Chief said he was going out for a walk. He's probably by the dock somewhere gazing out to sea. Uh, so the chief was the one saying maybe it's the wrong guy you know bad idea to control time okay. <clears throat> we're conducting a simulation of phase metastasis okay. phase metastasis what does that mean? This research center was established under the utmost secrecy by the central regime. We may appear to be a military research center, but we're actually conducting research on time. The lost ancient magic civiliz civilization of zeal. If it really did exist, exist someone may have been have even traveled through time to this period. Now, Lu 
America traveled. Personal registered as arbiter may enter. The experiment will begin soon. Please evacuate to your destination designated positions. We will do the same in case of an emergency. So I cannot pass through. Okay. B. Central left. So you gotta go see the chief again. Time Research Lab, which served as the foundation of this research center, appeared out of nowhere in the year 2300 and was headed up by the scientific genius, Belthasar. However, at the peak of his career, he simply vanished. We've continued his work and have come this far. Our work is almost complete. Well, it's about time I headed back. The experiment's about to begin. The fatal experiment on time. Yo, I can't move. Can't move until that guy's gone. Time for the experiment to commence. Save, save, save. Record of fate is exposed. Two worlds that are so close and yet so far in nature exist in different dimensions. Under the surveillance of the main computer of Chronopolis. Main computer. Fate. In other words, fate has always been observing the two parallel worlds and guiding them. Fate has been manipulating the world of El Nido in order to avoid any major change to the history it knows. If an event on El Nido influences the main continent, the year 2400, in which fate exists, would, would change. This paradox could potentially lead to a great disaster. The records of fate, fate's terminals, collect data from around the world and put guidance directly into the minds of its users. In this dis discreet way, fate is able to control the lives of people without them knowing. Guided by fate, the people of El Nido lead a harmonious life. In a sense, they are nothing more than puppets of fate. An instruction to the young girl in Arnie 01 to give up going to the main continent as a poet. An instruction to the man in RNE2 to give up becoming a fisherman. A plan to avoid any point of contact with the main continent so as not to affect, affect history. However, ever since the formation of the Dead Sea 10 years ago, fate has been unable to intervene directly with world number one. The best fate could do was cross the dimension and receive data through the records of fate. And with much difficulty, fate succeeded in binding Miguel to the Dead Sea as a watchman. 
So fate is a supercomputer, huh? Supercomputer. This is the ob observation room. This is where we observe the two parallel worlds. We need to fight that guy. Well, thankfully the overpowered Surge can finish that guy really fast. Go ballistic. Lucas, though, right? She told me she found it while cleaning out the closet. This old notebook, covered with mold, was a diary that belonged to my grandfather who passed away years ago. It contained my grandfather's distant memories. Does this device play back archives? Looks like someone's memoirs. I wonder if you still remember how we first met and our many adventures. Is this Luca or is this Kid or Shala? It all seemed like a dream. We ran like the wind during those warm summer days long ago. You were a piece of a star that fell from the sky. I can still relive the memories of those days long past, just by closing my eyes and so like such and whispering your name into the desolate night. Kid, Kid. That must be Surge's memory. Yeah, I think I think that's Surge's memory. What's this? Radical dreamers? What does this mean? There's a conversation with a comrade. Are you ready, kid? I know you're anxious, but stay on your toes. I think that's Surge talking. Yeah, likewise, mate. You mess up and I'm leaving you behind. Got that surge? Come on, Magil, let's go. Magil is Magus. That bastard Lynx is gonna get what he deserves. Say your prayers, not that it'll do you any good. This seems to be an archive from a different time than our own. Aside from the two worlds we already know about, other worlds and times may also exist. Why can't I open that stuff? On the car key. Let's see. The main computer of Chronopolis is called Fate. Fate is a large-scale prototype completed in the year 2300. It integrated the old mother-brain computer circuitry into a more powerful supercomputer. So we know the mother, the mother computer. Fate. This fate contains a massive amount of historical data dating up to the year 2400. Obtain the key card. I think it's B1, right? Confirming. Access granted. Hmm. Okay, I 
just just have to stop one of them. Supercomputer fate itself. Time to find and to see Serge's father. Serge's father, Lynx, and Kid. I wonder if Kid really thinks she's she has been with Serge this whole time. Confirm. Access granted. Disposition these guys. Yeah, run away. Okay. Okay. Fingerprint and retina scan required. Please step inside the circle and hold up your left hand. Surge will be able to analyze you. Please stand by. Analysis complete. Fingerprints, retina, and C-class DNA all clear. Data discrep discrepancy due to aging with permissible range. 96 confirmation that this individual is the last registered arbiter. Access granted. Project Kid, it says. Welcome back, Chrono Trigger. So that's why. So that's why Lynx needed Surge's form. Lynx must be inside already. Yeah. Along with the frozen flame. Okay. Arbiter confirmed. Access granted. Well, it said Project Kid. Where are we? Is that the frozen flame? Exactly. Frozen. The hearer of the people's prayers, the provider of riches, fame, and power. The beast tower of eternal life, the promiser of peace and happiness. This is the essence of what descended from the heavens in the prehistoric age. The living crimson stone, the frozen flame. Lynx! What took you so long? You had me worried. Worried that you might have perished on the way here. Are you alright? It's no use. I put her soul to sleep. I had to remove any potential obstacle from us having this talk. Who are you? What are you after? You still don't know. I am the human incarnation of fate. The living interface interface of the fate computer system. Or put simply, I too am fate. What? Fourteen years ago on the night of the terrible storm, the cogs began to turn. That night, Wazuki and Miguel set out to sea carrying a sick young child in their boat. 
That child was you, Serge, after you had been attacked by that part, Panther Demon. Your poison wounds were beyond the healing abilities of the doctors in Termina or even Galdol. So they set sail to Marbul in order to see the sage there, not knowing how bad the storm would become. Being skilled sailors, the two men were able to survive the storm, but they were blown off course and came ashore on this island, where they decided to seek shelter. At the time, this research center was offline due to the severity of the storm. It only took 10 minutes for the system to power back up, but by then the flame had found you. Contact with the flame healed your young body, but that was not all. Once the security card system was rebooted, it would only ac grant access to you, the Arbiter. You can't imagine the trouble this caused the Fate computer system in achieving its objective. Inside of Fate, there was a standalone circuit that had been kept hidden since the old Mother Brain generation. That circuit was designed to start a mal malfunction, or more precisely, a rebellion. Who would have thought that such a small bug, a traitor, could exist inside of Fate? That hidden circuit was based on the initial Ashtier model circuit board with extra logic added by another scientist. Fate itself did not realize that this circuit was present within the core of its system, or more correctly, the circuit was programmed so that the moment Fate did, did detect it, it would erase all record of its detection. Dr. Luca Ashtier Unbelievably intelligent and incredibly enthusiastic might even go far as to call her a mad scientist. Of course, I don't believe it was Luca alone that devised this plan. I'm sure the first curator of this research center, a man named Balthasar, had a, had a hand in it too. This man, Balthasar, he's one of the sages from the ancient magical kingdom. Zeal. Fate. Bring out the traitor, Prometheus. That's a robo. Affirmative. You have finally released me, released me. That's Robo, right? Welcome back, so you're the real Surge. I've waited a long time for you. I'm glad you made it in time. Surge, I beg you. Please bring an end to the enmity between Fate and the dragons. Fate, eliminate him. Eliminate Robo. Affirmative. Now eliminating, eliminating Prometheus. No. You can't! S search, please, for the future of mankind. F for the, the f future of. Oh. Idiot. Destruction to those who oppose the goddess of fate. Thanks. Why you? Ha! Come, search. Show me what the purpose of your life on this planet is. Teach me what it means to be alive. Okay, 
Maybe I should have equipped like a black plate. has to revive, so we're gonna be pretty. Whoa, this is cure all. Some other.
Minutes and Countdown. Attack search.
finish on. Okay. Okay, it's the mother computer destroyed. How could you, who's saying that? I, Fate, the goddess of fate, was not meant to die. Oh. Ah, huh? Where in blazes am I? Search, what happened to me? Aha, that, that's it. Why is Kid looking for the frozen flames? She looking for the flames so she can bring none. I read. Ned, don't touch it. Is she looking for the flame to bring Luca back to life? Kid, I know the feelings you have inside of you. The urge to bring everything to nothing is now stronger than your desire to save everyone. You may want to throw yourself down the cliff of destruction. That is your imperative. A Silvus plight, kid. Do not drag Surge and the others down in destruction with you. Shut up, Yalumi. I know what I'm doing. It's too late. There's no turning back now. So Haro says, kid has another self inside that wants to Destruct everything? Fate has fallen. Fate has died. Now's our chance, says the dragons. Finally, the time has come. Indeed, the long endless night shall finally come to an end. Do these dragons have anything to do with Azala, the dinosaur? Now, for mankind. I shall make you bleed, mankind. Feel a million years of this planet's agony, pain, and suffering. Than 10 years since I last saw the sea. That's like the emblem of Chrono Cross. That looks very futuristic, that place. Terra Tower. It's come back to life again. How do you know about it, kid? In the year 2400, during a counter-time experiment, the flame goes out of control. This causes the dimensions to rip apart, resulting in the time crash. Engulfed in an enormous dimensional vortex, Chronopolis was hurled 10,000 years back in time. Hmm. Perhaps it was the awakening Lavos, 
who pulled the frozen flame back through time to it. Maybe so that Lavos, who saw the possibility that some young adventurers might destroy it, could create a backup plan. But that ain't all. At the same time, another city from a different dimension's future was also thrown back in time. Dinopolis. Dinopolis, the future city of the Reptites, Azala's descendants who had evolved more closely with the, with the planet. Just as Lavos, in an attempt to save itself, summoned Chronopolis from the distant future, perhaps our planet beckoned Dinopolis into the past, maybe as a measure against Chronopolis and humanity. It wasn't the dragon gods who sealed up the frozen flame. It was fate which used the flame's power to divide and seal the dragons in slumber. And now that fate has been defeated, the dragons will join together again to start their, their revenge. So was the mother computer protecting the humans? The mother computer we destroyed. Wow. <laughs> Water dragon actually looks cool for a change. That looks so cool. Oh, it's Harl. Was search holding? I feared it would come to this. Harl, the seventh dragon. I didn't want to have to fight with you if it could have been avoided. Adieu, Serge. Adieu. Hmm. Give me a frickin' break. You mean to tell me we were being used all this time? Yeah. Damn. What is done is done, although we may not like it. <laughs> so true. In any case, we need to make our way into that floating tower. Yes, we cannot just twiddle our thumbs and do nothing. The only problem is... So we have to find our way up there, right? It's not like the great SS Invincible can make it up there either. There has to be a way. Hmm. At least our objective is clear. I do not know how, but we must find a way. So like, whatever happened to Kid after that? Doesn't look like she'll ever wake up. Indeed. She is resting at Radius's place. Her spirit seems to be possessed by the past. A powerful item is necessary in order to dispel it. There's no sense staying here. Come on, mateys, let's shove off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, I guess this party is good. Nothing wrong with this party, right? Okay, so we need to go back, go wake up kid, right? How is our HP, by the way? Yeah, nothing wrong with the HP. Finally, time for kid to see search. Arbiters of time. Okay, burned out hermit's hideout. Ground here is hot. Vegetation won't be able to grow here. I think Surge should have the... Okay. Kid is resting in bed. She hasn't come out of her coma yet. 